Hi, weirdos. I'm Ashley. I'm Lauren. And you are watching our new segment here on YouTube. What Was That is a segment where Lauren and I bring you the creepiest, weirdest, scariest, spookiest videos, pictures, and EVPs that we can find on the internet or, or that you send us. Send us your stuff. We want to see it and we want to show it. <laughs> and along with showing you the really weird, creepy, cool stuff we find, we're also hoping to highlight some cool YouTubers or uh, content creators or Instagrammers or TikTokers um, and share their videos with the world. And hopefully they'll get new followers. We'll get new followers. You'll get new followers and everyone will win. We love it. We and do. today we have a great gal to promote. So I'm really excited. And, um, and. Oh, what? I'm I'm in the hot seat. <laughs> Wait, oh, that's true. I get to scare Ashley. This is new. This it's is new. Brand it's new brand thing. new. This is so exciting, you guys. <laughs> I, yeah, I did the research this time, and I have to start the story with this because I think it's hilarious. All the kids, and I say kids because it's mostly like 16-year-olds, are on an app called TikTok. You all have probably heard of it. Mm -hmm. And it's mostly teens and young 20s doing dances and doing silly things. It sort of took over for Vine. It's really short little videos. I joined it <laughs> for some reason. I have no business being on there as a 30-year-old, but I joined it. And at first I was trying to be cool and learn all the dances, but then <laughs> I found out there's this whole paranormal world that exists on TikTok as well. What? I'm so excited because I found my people and I came across today's like shout out, the woman that we're featuring. Um, her username on both TikTok and Instagram is ScreamQueen36 and her name is Tammy. And she- I has love it. You love her. She, yeah, I contacted her on TikTok and then we switched over to messaging on Instagram and then we switched over to email. We've been just chatting it up. She's one of us. She's a weirdo. I'm obsessed with her. She's great. But she's been an investigator for basically 20 years. Whoa. Um, she first noticed she was sensitive around five, she said. And then when she was 12 and her family was moving into a new house, she was the first to say something weird is going on in this house. And then immediately after crazy shit started happening, and the family started freaking out. Like she was always able to see something. So she made it her life's work, her passion, and now she's trying to help other people. So she's very cool. And she's been on a lot of investigations. We love Tammy. We do love and Tammy. I don't even know Tammy. And I love Tammy. I know. I didn't want you to have too much contact with her so I could surprise you. But after right. you see today's footage, you should definitely chat with her. She's very fun. But she sent us video and EVP. So today we're going to bring you both a video visual clip that you can watch. And then I'm also going to show Ashley, or I guess she's going to hear. It sounds weird to say show, but she's going to listen to two EVP sounds, electronic voice phenomenon for those of you who have been living under a rock and not listening to our show. But when you catch a strange audio clip during an investigation that you may not have heard live, you may not have seen or heard anything in the moment, but when you went back and listened to your audio recorder or anything that your phone or a microphone caught, you may have heard a strange sound you can't explain. So she sent us a couple of those too. So Ashley, we're going to watch the first video. Okay. Um, okay. And to give a little context of this video, this is a house that Tammy actually lived in. It was in Northern California. And the first day that they moved in, she said they saw a man in their backyard. Oh no. Was he really there? <laughs> They're not really sure. But um, they started experiencing things in the first year they were there. Doors slamming. She actually got choked one night. Oh my scratches God. at the walls, horrible things. So they set up cameras in their house in 2016. Actually didn't uh, catch a ton more than like a couple orbs or some strange lights here and there. So took the cameras down. But then just last year, November 2019, they were packing up to move to Texas and they started getting a ton of activity again as they were packing up to move. Okay. They were riling something up. So the video you're about to see, you're going to see a lot of packing equipment because they were getting ready to go. And okay. she decided to turn the cameras on again because they had been experiencing activity. So Ooh. check it out.
and it's so unsettling. What the fuck? Isn't that weird? I was like, are you talking about dust? And then I saw it, and I was like, holy shit. You do shit. see something fly by the camera. Yeah. I, it, could, it could be dust, but I mean, there is something white that flies by. But then the dolly. And I First love of- <laughs> it. Did you see at the beginning the cat? is just sitting there yeah when you said dolly i immediately thought like baby doll and i was like i didn't even see the doll i didn't (laughs) see the creepy doll I know. It's so, it just makes me feel strange inside. I hate it. The way it's moving is so unsettling and weird. I know Tammy knows this. Like, there's going to be haters that are like, you had it on a string, whatever. But I think it moves in enough different directions that that would be really hard to set up and have on a pulley. So to me, it seems very hard to make happen on your own. And the way the cat was just not having it. The cat was like, animals know. No, I, yeah, the, the, I would think that if you were trying to make some like paranormal video and you were like trying to manipulate something with a string, you would make it knock all the way over. Right. And, and the way it just like rocked, but didn't quite. And then went back and then like, that was creepy. That was so I creepy. hate it. I hate it so much. And it goes in like every direction. I don't like it. <laughs> Whatever it was seems angry that they were moving. I'm wondering, I need to follow up and be like, did it follow you to Texas? Are you still experiencing stuff? Yeah. I mean, I had that happen to me one time where a spirit or entity or whatever you want to call it was mad at me for moving and started like breaking things and kicking oh, boxes. Yeah. And there was that when a coffee pot smashed? Yes. Yes. Yeah see like it's it that's crazy the similarities of that something I don't even know what to call it but something is getting aggravated maybe that there's about to be change or yeah that you're leaving maybe they got attached I yeah don't I don't know if it was attached to, well I know it was attached to me uh in hindsight because it followed me to my next apartment but like you know when that happens it's like is it just like not ready for a change or is it actually right. mad that you yourself are moving because it liked you Totally. I don't know. You're just so likable, Ashley. I am. I am. <laughs> All right. So that was the video. And okay, then we that have some crazy audio that she just caught. So this audio that you were about to hear is from a residential investigation that Tammy was called to go on. She um, was asked to come to someone's house that was experiencing a lot of activity. Um, but this tiny clip we're going to hear is from the initial interview that she had with the person living there. And it's actually the only recording and only piece of evidence that she got because the whole investigation was actually called off by the resident yeah. before she did anything. She didn't say why, but uh, so she only got this little bit. And after you hear it, you'll see why she was very disappointed. She didn't get to go through with more because she caught this little bit. Okay. But that is what we're hearing. So I was like, okay, okay, you know, I'm going to sage again. God dang it. So I opened all the The guy's voice. Do you hear that? Yeah, I hear you that. Listen to it again. I had to listen to it a couple times to really be like, what? What the hell? Okay. I'm listening to it again. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. you know, I'm going to sage again. God dang it. So I opened all the windows. Uh- <laughs> And what I liked about this one is it reminded me of our episode with Kelly. Oh, just kidding. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) The one. (laughs) We were on the same page. (laughs) Um, The episode with Kelly where we were talking about the murder and then we heard brother was murdered in the whisper. I remember that distinctly growing up. Like, that's probably the only person I know who had someone that was murdered. Yeah. And in this one, the woman that she's interviewing says, I don't know, like, what to do. And it sounds like it's echoing her. Yeah. A little bit. It was saying, like, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. That's what it was. I couldn't remember if it was to do or it's okay. But she was like, I think it's okay. And then it said, it's okay, it's okay. So I thought that was crazy. 
but it's so crystal clear Very. and that's why Tammy was expressing to me she's like I'm so mad I didn't get to finish my investigation because that is one of the most crystal clear voices I've ever heard I was like oh I want to know who was there <laughs> yeah because when I first heard it I just thought that it was someone talking like I didn't realize that that was the EVP I was like there's a third person there and then I was like wait that's a minute what, you what? No, it was just that oh woman God. talking, and that was picked up later. So for our final piece of evidence, this last EVP, this happened up in San Francisco. Tammy was called to investigate uh, with a marketing firm that's located up there. They had their offices set in a really old historical location and had been experiencing activity. So they asked her to come speak with some ghosts late at night, as you do after everyone had gone home. And this was a little EVP that she picked up while she was speaking with the spirits. More than one entity in this room? What did you hear? I'm curious. It sounded like it said you. That's what or, I thought too. Or two. Yeah. Or I thought who? you, Tammy thought you as well. Yeah, something, ooh, ooh is definitely is coming ooh. out. But it's just crazy that it sounds like he's answering her. Yeah. More than one entity in this room? Uh. <laughs> I know. It's like uh. such a direct, <laughs> creepy response in like the lowest, most horrible voice. Uh. The I know. Whispering, I don't know why whispering. whispering always, I mean, that's scary in general, but for whatever yeah. reason, when we get EVPs that are a whisper, I'm always like, mm -mm. Uh. <laughs> I made the mistake of listening to that one. To yeah. It feels like they're right here. And you're like, yeah. how did you do that to me? <laughs> but I made the mistake of listening to that one late at night and it haunted my dreams. So that was a bad idea. Very bad idea. I didn't like it. And oh, again, cool. that's just tip of the iceberg, you guys. She has a ton of paranormal evidence that you can find out. Her name's Tammy, but she goes under the handle Scream Queen 36 on both Instagram and TikTok if you're on there. She posts a lot of cool stuff she finds there. Um, she also has a YouTube channel called The Haunted One, um, and she posts a lot of her footage there and just cool paranormal stuff in general. Definitely check her out. She's awesome. I'm gonna. I'm going to go follow her as soon as we get off this call. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Immediately. Um, well, thank you so much for bringing those videos to us today. Uh, it was my pleasure. It was a blast. And thank you so much, Tammy, wherever you may be, for allowing us to show our listeners those videos too. Seriously, thank you for sharing. Thank you for doing these awesome investigations. Um, and thank you guys for watching our segment, What Was That, on YouTube. We have a This Week in Weird coming out soon as well. It's an old one. Remember, Ashley forgot about some. Um, <laughs> They're coming out of the vault. I love it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but follow us on social media at Keep It Weird Cast across all platforms. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube so you'll be the first to know when a new video is published and obviously listen to our podcast keep it weird we are on itunes spotify uh lives in tune in google play iHeartRadio, stitcher wherever you listen to your podcast we are there and keep it weird <laughs> keep it weird uh.